This episode was made possible in part by ABC Mouse and Kitty Academy. Dinosaur Train! Dinosaur Train. Once upon a time there was a mom. Her name was Mrs. Pteranodon. Sitting on her nest she heard a scratching and said, Oh boy, my eggs are hatching! Well, one by one her kids pop free. Baby Pteranodons, one, two, three. I'll name you Tiny, Shiny, and Don. But Tiny said, Wait, there's one more! Last little baby was a different size, with teeth and a tail and big green eyes. He didn't look anything like the rest. What am I doing in a pteranodon nest? But dear old Mrs. Pteranodon oh, said, Oh, this is your family and I'm your mom. You may be different, but we're all creatures. All dinosaurs have different features. Come on, buddy, we'll take a vacation. I'll get us a ticket at Pteranodon Station. We'll travel the world in sunshine and rain and meet all the species on the... Dinosaur train! Dinosaur train! Dinosaur train! Dinosaur train! Dinosaur train. seems to have eyes? Wait, that's not a rock. It's Benny Beals and Bufo. <laughs> Who's asking? The Pteranodon family. It's us. Oh, yeah. Tiny, Shiny, Don, and Buddy. I remember. Yeah, you know what they say. Frogs have very good memories. Oh. And since you're such a big frog, you have a really big memory. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I'm pretty big. Though there might be bigger frogs I just haven't met. You never know. Well, you're definitely the biggest frog we've ever seen. Shiny, come take a look. Um, not right now. Maybe later. What are those things on your back, Benny? Time for a feature check. These, Don, are plates. That's right. They're tough, like armor. Since you're my friends, you can touch them if you like to. Wow, hard as rock. Rock? My plates protect me from pretty much anything. So all unfriendly creatures, beware. Cool. And speaking of unfriendly creatures, get a load of this huge mouth. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, that's very big. <laughs> that mouth. He looks like he could swallow me whole. Yep. Benny is big. Really big. You can keep your distance from Benny till you're more comfortable, kiddo. Thanks, Dad. I like how your eyes are pretty much on the top of your head. Mm-hmm. I can see all around with my eyes up there. All around. It's how I locate my prey. Hmm. Oh. What's your prey? That's what I eat. Pretty much anything I can fit in this mouth. I'm a carnivore, you know. Hey, I'm a carnivore, too. Huh. You know, this carnivore talk is making me really hungry. Wait. I must have fallen asleep on a dinosaur train and got off at the wrong station. Wow. I'm not anywhere near my home, am I? Right. You're much closer to our home, Benny. Welcome to the big pond. Thanks. Huh, you know, I think this is the farthest I've ever been from home. Then we should show you around. Good idea. I should open myself up to new experiences. And this, this is a new experience. Let's do it. But first, friends, where can a huge frog like me get a good lunch? Ooh, 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 I know where. Well, bless my scales and feathers. Any Beals a bufo in our dining car. You're a favorite, mostly land-dwelling frog. Bingo. Eventually, I have to get back into water, but mostly we live on land. Gives us more time to eat. Waiter, please. Many thanks, Mr. Tourdon Waiter. Keep them coming. Kind of hungry. As you can see, I'm not a picky eater. 
at all. <laughs> I'm gonna eat like my pal Benny. John, that's too much. Small bites. You're not a large frog, my friend. Your dad's right. Small bites for you, huh? <coughs> Still nervous? You okay, Shiny? Not really. All the frogs I know are small and cute. Like Patricia Paleobatrachus. Yeah, I get it about Benny, but he seems really nice. I think Shiny just wants to keep her distance uh, for now. <laughs> so, is there a dessert menu? You ate it. Ah, okay. So, Tyrannodon family, I should probably head home soon. I'm always home for dinner. I've never missed one with my family. Okay, but before then, we were gonna show you around, remember? Yeah, who knows when you'll ever be back in our neck of the Cretaceous. Oh, yeah. Oh, with the tour. Wow, that train tail is mesmerizing. It always does that. Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I'm driving a dinosaur train. Me, Benny Bielzebufo. <laughs> yeah, boy, a Bielzebufo driving a train. Well, now I've seen everything. <laughs> Benny, you're really opening yourself up to new experiences. Good for you. Thanks, Tiny. So, where to next? Oh, yeah! <laughs> nice speech you got, buddy. And it looks very fun to fly. Hey, maybe I can be the first flying frog. Me, Benny Beer Zabufo, fly. And now it's snack time. Dranodon's gotta fly, big frogs gotta eat. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mrs. Pteranodon, these are delicious. <laughs> Thank you, Benny. You're quite a good eater. You must eat nearly everything in sight at home. Yeah, my whole family does. Especially my kids, Bobby and Bella. I love them. And they would love to meet all of you. They've probably never met a Pteranodon. Or a T-Rex. Yeah. Nice shell collection, Shiny. My kids like shells, too. Tiny, Beers of Buffo don't do caves. Sorry. What else can we show you? Want to ride in our pretend dinosaur train? Sure, why not? That I can do. All aboard. Benny, it's sort of more like this. All aboard! Ah, very good, Shiny. Tickets, please. Next stop is Beers of Buffo River Station. That's my stop. Hey, pretend dinosaur train is almost as fun as a real train, but fewer snacks. One lizard kebab coming right up. Mm-hmm. Right wow, kids! That croaking sound was so real. I thought there was actually a huge frog in our neighborhood. Benny <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> Beals a bufo. He's here. And you pteranodons are friends with him? All of you? Yep, we are. Wow! Oh, uh, maybe one day I can be your friend too, Benny. Okay then, I should be getting home. Sun's going down, almost dinner time. Sun's going down, almost dinner time. I gotta get home. This has been very fun here, but I can't miss dinner with my family. To the dinosaur train! <laughs> Terribly sorry, Benny. The boiler sprung a major leak, and I don't think we'll be going anywhere on the dinosaur train tonight. But, but it's almost sunset. I gotta get home. Who can figure out how to get a giant frog home from here? <gasps> Patricia Paleopatrachus! Come on! <laughs> wow, a Beelzebufo. I can help you get home, Benny. As an amphibian, I can lead you through water, ponds, lakes, and streams, and on the land. Great. Now, Patricia, here's an offer I hope you won't refuse. Guide me home to Beelzebufo River, and I'll give you a lifetime supply of insects and be your giant amphibian friend forever. Deal. I love 
of insects. Okay, let's get you home to your family, Benny. Yeah! Let's go! Into the water. And on the land. I'm home. Home sweet home. Oh, boy. Patricia, my new frog friend for life, thanks for taking me home. You need any insects, you come see me. <laughs> the Lanadon family, thanks for that fun, unplanned day. I really opened myself up to some new experiences. I think I did, too. Benny, these shells are for your son and daughter. Wow. That is so nice of you, Shiny. Thank you. Bobby and Bella will love these. Well, time to hop. See you soon. Bye, Benny! Now, how are we going to get home for dinner? <gasps> the, the dinosaur train! And that's how we all got Benny home in time for dinner. <laughs> my, oh, my, what? Adventure. It was. Oh, and Mr. Conductor, these bug kebabs, delicious. <laughs> You're not going to fool me again. That was definitely the croak of a Beelzebufo. <laughs> Whoa, wait, what happened to him? Did he shrink? <laughs> yeah, Larry, he shrunk. It's Patricia, Mr. Lambiosaurus. <laughs> There's only one Benny Beelzebufo. Hi there, I'm Dr. Scott, the paleontologist. Did you know that the biggest frog that ever lived was almost as big as a beach ball? It was called Beelzebufo, and it lived with dinosaurs in the Cretaceous time period. If I could choose to be a frog, why not web toe sitting on a log? I need one from long ago, the giant frog Beelzebufo. If I were a Beelzebufo, you know I'd be telling the truth, though, when I say I'm surely king of the frogs. King of the frogs. Just take one look at Beelzebufo, big as a beach ball, there's the proof, oh, that I'd be the jumbo king of the frogs. King of the frogs. Sure, there are lots of frogs today, wonderful in so many ways, but none of them can make me sing like the great extinct amphibian king. If I were a Beelzebufo, you know I'd be telling the truth, though, when I say I'm surely king of the frogs. King of the frogs. Just take one look at Beelzebufo, heavy as a house cat, there's the proof, though, that I'd be the jumbo king of the frogs. King of the frogs. All right, remember, hop outside, get into nature, and make your own discoveries. Hey, buddy. What? Too loud. Is that how you always wake up? Uh, yes. Uh, no, I, I mean... <laughs> I was surprised to see you. You said to come early to visit today. Hey, you look just like that kid Dennis we met at Junior Conductor Academy. I am Dennis, the kid from Junior Conductor Academy. Well, no wonder you look like him. <sighs> Hi, Dennis. We thought you were coming later. I came as soon as the sun was up, so we could have longer to play. Doesn't anyone want to play with me? Are you almost ready to play, buddy? What should we play first? Hi, Dennis. How did you get here? Mr. Conductor brought me. I came on the dinosaur train. It was exciting. Mr. Conductor? Oh. 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 Hello, everyone. Oh, there you are, Dennis. <laughs> he got a little ahead of me on the trail. <laughs> Must be those long legs of his. Mr. Conductor, thank you for showing me where Buddy's nest is. You can leave now. Oh, you're welcome, Dennis. Have a wonderful day with Buddy and his family, and I'll see you later at the station. Won't you stay for breakfast? Oh, thanks, but I gotta get back. I'll pick up something to eat on the trail. No. 
What's the first thing we're going to do today, buddy? After we eat breakfast, how about we show you around to rent it on Terrace? Okay, I already ate breakfast, so what's after you show me around? Oh, uh, we can play, then have lunch? And what's after that? I'm not exactly sure, but we'll figure it out. It's better to know everything that's going to happen, especially at a new place. Come on, Dennis. We'll take you around. It'll be fun. <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> Mom, why is it hard for Dennis? Doesn't he want to be here? Sure he does. Dennis just needs a little extra time to get used to being here. Maybe you can help him find a way to feel comfortable here. Okay. Thanks, Mom. I will. Everything is different from where I live, even the trees. These are conifer trees. Next to them are ferns. You actually know a lot about Pteranodon Terrace, Dennis. I like to learn about new places before I go there. Also, I'm looking for leaves like the ones I have at home. Right. You love leaves. So, are you hungry? Did I hear a question about eating leaves? Why not ask the expert? Me. Who is that? Hi, Larry. Hi, Em. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five? Weren't there only four of you before? This is our friend Dennis. He's visiting for the day. Ah. Well, what kind of dinosaur are you, son? I'm a dinochirus. I'm an omnivore. I eat plants and meat, and I'm from a highly vegetated habitat with lots of water features. A highly vegetated habitat with water features? <laughs> okay, fancy. I'm Larry, and I'm well, a... You are a Lambiosaurus. A crusted, duck-billed herbivore. Uh, that's right. And just to let you know, I eat... Pine needles, seeds, twigs, leaves. Wow! Yes, exactly! This kid's really got his facts straight. He sure does. Dennis knows a ton of dinosaur facts. Listen, Dennis, if you like leaves, ooh, ooh, there's this yellow-stemmed shrub over by the big pond. Bit of a trek, but the chewiest leaves. Want to go? I don't eat those, Larry Lambiosaurus. Thanks for offering, but Dennis needs some time to get used to new places and new foods. Okay. Don't wait too long. It gets crowded at the yellow shrub. We'll help you look for the kinds of leaves you have at home. Thanks, buddy. You are a good friend. Is this it? Not quite. How about this leaf? It's good, but not like home. Should we keep looking? Hey, Dennis, you also eat fish, right? Why don't we go look for some? I'd like that. <laughs> The water feels great. Our water at home is fresh, but this water tastes different. Our water tastes different? Yes, because it's brackish. That means it's salty. We have fresh water at home. Uh -huh. Hey, do you want to see how we catch fish here? Okay. They fly around, swoop, and go! Want to try one, Dennis? They're pretty yummy. Those are saltwater fish. I might not like them if they taste different. Okay. You don't have to try it if you don't want to. That fish does smell pretty good. It really is. Maybe I'll try. Just try one bite. Sure. Here. Well, what do you think? Could I have another bite? You likes it. La la lu. I'm going to need more of these. Mm. Don't worry, Dennis. We'll keep fishing. Are you feeling more um comfortable here in Trinidad Terrace now? Being at the beach was fun, but there's more sand here than I'm used to at home. No problem. We could just go somewhere else. At home, I go in my cozy spot, and that's where I feel comfortable. It's a little cave behind a rock. Guess what, Dennis? I have a place where I go to feel comfortable. Want to go see it? Okay. It's up there. My tiny place. I love it up here. 
It looks cozy, but I can't go there. I get it, Dennis. It is pretty tiny, but perfect for me. You know what makes me feel comfortable? Playing my favorite game. Okay, Shiny, can you show me? This is where we play hide and seek. Hide and seek. I don't know how to play that game. It's new. I'll show you. I'll cover my eyes, and you all go hide while I count to ten. One, two, um, three, oh, dear, four, five, 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 six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. I wonder where everyone is hiding. I'm behind this fern, see? Why did you come out, Dennis? We're hiding. Because Shiny asked me where I was. Well, you see, that's sort of the game. I have to find you. Oh, it must be a Pteranodon thing. I'm done playing. Okay. Well, thanks for playing, Dennis. You gave it a good try. Your beak looks all shiny, shiny. I said your name twice. <laughs> yeah. How do you make it sparkle? Is mine doing it? I think it might be another Pteranodon thing. I'm learning a lot about Pteranodons. I like to learn. I hope you're feeling more at home in Pteranodon Terrace. It's very new, buddy. I wish I had a tiny place like Tiny, or a comfortable place like my cozy spot at home. Wanna see where I feel at home? You're a really good digger, Don. <laughs> Thanks, I practice a lot. I like to dig holes too. Really? Great, we'll dig with you. Organized digger. Thank you. How do you know when you're done? Oh, well, I stop when I can fit in the hole with my head sticking out. See? I'll try that. I'm bigger, so I can't fit like you can, Don. If Don can fit in my hole, then my hole is done. I fit. La la la. Good, then I'm done with digging. What are we doing next before I have to get back on the dinosaur train? Dinosaur train? That's it. You'd be more comfortable on the dinosaur train, wouldn't you? Yes, but I'm not ready to leave yet. You don't have to. I'll show you where we have our own dinosaur train. Ta-da! This is where we play dinosaur train. See all the cars? This is a row of square-shaped rocks. Yes, and we're pretending this is the passenger coach and that's the dining car. Hello, I'm the Trevodon waiter, and here is your fish bitch. That's a rock wrapped in a leaf. But I'll pretend to eat it. Here comes the conductor! All aboard! That's funny. You're not the conductor, but you said all aboard. Why don't you try it, Dennis? Hi, I'm Dennis, and I'm pretending to be the conductor. All aboard! I'm pretending, and it's fun. All right, Dennis! You're doing a great job, Dennis. I mean, Mr. Conductor. La, la, la. Well, kids, it's now time for Dennis to go back on the real dinosaur train. I don't want to go. I'm having too much fun. La la loo. <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea. We can all go with Dennis to the station. Just a little snack for the trip. Thanks for visiting us, Dennis. Hope you had a good time. I learned how to play pretend dinosaur train, and now I'm back on the real dinosaur train. Say, you ready to help me with this part, Dennis? Oh! oh. Ow! Too loud! Bye, Dennis! See you soon! I hope you come back to visit. See you soon, buddy. See you soon, Tiny. See you soon, Shiny. See you soon, Don. See you soon.
Find more of your PBS Kids friends on your local PBS station and the free PBS Kids video app. Also subscribe to the PBS Kids Prime Video channel.